welcome once again we are going to see the next video of model analysis for model analysis you just click on the models and drag and drop in the working areas after dragging in the working area you can share the learning data and geometry from the static structure analysis for sharing of the learning data just click on that and drop into the learning data into the model analysis this which connect the a line of from learning data of static structure analysis to the model analysis and for geometry the same way you can click on that and drop to the model analysis this will also share the same geometry inserted in the structure structure analysis to the model ana analysis for the third steps you can see that the model analysis just click on that right clicks and go to the edit buttons here we loadings wait a minute yes window look look like that yes for this analysis this is the model analysis work frames here we are have the geometry part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 and part 5 as uh, uh, same like the structure structural analysis go to the meshings meshing uh, meshings and right click on the meshings just click on generate mesh this will generate the mesh over the uh, components after generating the mesh go to the model analysis and insert insert the fix supports same like that of the static structural analysis click on the fix support one and press the control go to the face option and select whole left flange after uh, selecting whole left flange just click on the apply and fix support one looks like that after that go to the model insert once again fix support this will create the fix support two for fix support two just click on uh, the face press the control button select all the parts of the right waves and click on the apply this will create the fix support one and two there is this is the boundary condition that is initial condition for the model analysis as moving towards the solution steps uh, first of all we have to solve this analysis just click on solve and you will get the solutions after that going to the uh, solutions insert the deformation and uh, deformations as uh, we are total deformations the total deformation we are going to solutions set the number of uh, models you want to see uh, if you five you can insert the five times uh, deformation if you want to see uh, see the result of 10 uh, frames you can insert the 10 times deformation and click on the total deformations inserting that deformation 1 to 10 just click on um, the hit the solutions and you will get the result from the total deformations that is the for first total deformation we get the 108.7 mpa uh, is the maximum uh, deformation for second is the 112.62 uh, uh, is mm is the maximum deformation for third 111 and as we got the total 1 to 10 results at this model analysis as we saw that the uh, at the total deformation for the maximum value we get 166.29 mpa this is the frequency of 7 to 601 at the particular frequency of the 6 to 708 we get the deformation this is the graph value of the uh, model analysis as we go to animate just click on the animations and you can see the how the deformations going to be at the particular frequency varying with the times you can see that at the frequency of 7 to 60 hertz this is the maximum deformations just just pause the animations or go to the tabular data you can find out the which uh, particular modes on according the frequency this frequency shows that at the 7 to 601 the maximum deformation at going to the 4 7 to 601 this is the maximum frequency at where 166.29 mm deformation is shown in that particular models the frequency comes from the model analysis are going to be used for the reference of the 
analysis of harmonic analysis this is the minimum frequency and that's going to be maximum frequency we are using this frequency to find out the harmonic analysis just click on the deformation you can find out all the deformations so we got all tens deformation from the modern analysis so going to the next video we are coming back thank you